In this video, we're going to continue to work on the C pillar of our Ferrari 308. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to carry on manipulating the C pillar or the sail panel on the Ferrari 308 with Fusion 360. If you've been following along, carry on with your model, or if you're just starting, then make sure that you download this model from the description. The various points along the different videos have been new versions, so if you want to start from the beginning, I strongly suggest that. But again, if you're picking up here, feel free to download the one in the description. The first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out the layout that's going to create the best geometry for us. So in box display mode, we have a five-sided patch here. It really looks like a big rectangle, but the thing that's important and the thing that we should always look at is we should go back to images to see how this car actually looks. When we follow this C pillar down, you can see that we've got this section here that carries down to the rear quarter. And then we've got this section that sort of carries over that looks like a big triangle. So I think the next step is for us to try to carry that roof line, that A pillar line up over and back down to the quarter, and then worry about the rest of this um, sort of as a big triangle potentially. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go to my right hand view, I'm gonna go to insert point, and I wanna carry this edge down here. I'm gonna make a triangle and it's not ideal. Uh, you'll notice that it didn't work. Sometimes you might need to rotate a little bit or it might just potentially not be able to create that patch. We're gonna repeat the process and we want to, basically what we wanna do is we wanna just carry that shape down. Um, actually, you know what, before we repeat the process, let's take a look at this in smooth display and just see how bad it is. So that does not look good. Uh, obviously we're not done, but that is creating some problems in that surface. Box display mode, it doesn't look too bad, but you can see what we have is we've got this sort of um, triangle or this crease that's been created. Now, in order to give it more control, we need to add a couple more points. So I'm gonna go from this front edge to here, and then I'm gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna come from about the midpoint to the midpoint of this one and say, okay. Now this gives me the control I need to create the shape of that pillar. So we can go into modify, edit form, we can bring it back how, how we would expect. And then this portion right here, we might actually want to push forward. So from a side view, we might potentially want to um, angle this. So I'm gonna do this by box selecting this and sort of pulling it forward, then box selecting that and pushing that forward. Noticing that we don't have edges that carry over here, that's something that we are going to have to address potentially. Uh, but let's take a look at this in smooth display now. All right, so in smooth display, it's getting better down here, but still up here, there is a lot that's competing for the shape. So let's go back and let's figure out what we can do to fix this over here. Now, again, ideally, we would have four-sided patches. We know that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to have a triangle somewhere. And this is a nice four-sided patch. We can make more four-sided patches we can go to insert point and we can bring one up here. We can turn that into a four-sided patch. We can repeat the process doing that here. And now we've just got the one triangle. Uh, this gives us a little bit more control, but you can see that we really don't have anything that we can do with this edge. So if we look at this in smooth display, um, that section right there, it's hard to see in light, is giving us this sort of like artificial crease. And that artificial crease is because this is a straight edge with no additional control. We don't really have anything that we can do to control that. But these edges have additional control in the middle. One way that we can fix this is by pushing these edges up to help control the shape or by adding more edges or more control. So what I want to try to do is I'm going to get rid of this edge. I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to go to modify, insert point, and I want to carry this one back, and then I'll carry it down to make a triangle. And you can see that it didn't work. Let's go ahead and repeat it. Let's try again. And let's just go back to this one edge. All right, so now 
we've made this sort of five-sided patch that looks like a rectangle, but it's not really. But what we're doing is we're carrying that control back a bit. So I'm going to move this up and over, move this one up and over, and sort of inspect what we've done. So from the back, that is sticking way farther out. So I'm going to try to mimic that. And note that that four-sided patch is a potential problem. So smooth display mode, it's going to show us that we're really working ourselves into a corner. And this is telling me that this, the layout that I'm trying to do is not working. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete some of these, just control select them, get rid of them and go back to the original, right? So this is where we started. And this result, if we go to our smooth display, um, isn't good, but it, it is at least where we started. Now, it looks like we may have some issues. And before I go any further, I'm going to try repair body. And you can see that we've got some star points that need to be fixed. There's a star point here. Um, this T point right there uh, is telling me that I have an open edge. So there's there's something going on here. And to fix that, we need to weld vertices. And we'll just bring these together to get rid of it. And then now you can see that we've got a smoother back panel. We just need to carry it up into the roof a little bit better. Once again, let's go back to box display. And in box display, the root of our problem is really right here. And I'm gonna go back to the method that I used before where I carried all this over, but I wanna get rid of these faces on the inside. So these faces, I think at least this uh, this corner here that's creased is causing me a lot of trouble. So if I go to uncrease, this edge right here is creased and I think that is potentially causing us problems. So I'm gonna delete these on the inside. I'm gonna delete them down here. And for right now, I don't really care too much about the front. I'm not gonna worry about the fronts. But this gets me back to uh, you know something that's a little bit more manageable. Next, I want to bring that vertex in. If I look at this from the front, I might be able to see it, and this vertex in as well. I don't I don't think they should really be hanging out in space as far as they are. I want to make a nice smooth transition, and if we look at this from the side, uh, we want to see the same thing too. We want that nice smooth transition. All right, so now we're back to where we started. We've got this giant panel over here and we need to decide how we're gonna carry the curvature to define the rest of it. So I'm gonna do this by once again going to insert point. I'm gonna go in the middle of this edge and I'm gonna carry this back. I'm gonna make a T point here. I'm not worried if this gets messed up just yet. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. Again, right click menu. And this time I'm gonna go from this corner, the midpoint of each of these edges and you know what, I'm gonna stop the T-point there, staggered one back. Now let's go to our smooth display. And uh, you can see it looks like there is a crease that's being carried here. So let's try uncrease, see if any edges are creased in this area. Nothing's creased um, except for this outside edge. So you can see as I hover the, cur the cursor over that edge is creased, um, that's okay. But nothing up here is creased. It's just the way that the patch layout is working is, is causing us, you know, potentially this grief. But uh, it's definitely looking better. So I'm gonna take some of this geometry and I'm gonna pull it out. So we're gonna begin by pulling this out, grab the front edge. And hopefully as we do this, you will be able to see the transition that I'm going for. I'm gonna pull this one out just a little bit and then potentially this edge right here, that vertex. And what I'm looking for is, again, that nice smooth transition. If I look at it from the side, I should see the same thing. And if I look at it from the top, I should also see the same thing. So that looks pretty good. If we go into smooth display mode, um, it looks better. If we hide our edges, it looks better, but it's carrying a relatively sharp crease back. Um, not always a bad thing if it's designed, but in this case, we didn't design it like that. That crease is coming from the patch layout. So back in box display, uh, there's something going on in this corner that is causing problems. So in order for me to fix it, I'm gonna delete 
that face all together and see what it looks like in smooth display. So now you can see in smooth display, everything is fine and uh, the geometry looks good as we would expect. Uh, so the transition from this to that was causing problems. Now that I've deleted it, I'm gonna use modify and bridge. I'm gonna go from this edge to this edge. I'm gonna have one face between them and I'm gonna say okay. And then I'm gonna go back to smooth display. And once again, in smooth display, you can see that we've sort of got that crease here. And you can also see that there's something that's happening uh, in this corner here. So that did not fix our problem. So I'm gonna delete a bit more. And notice that we still got some of this, you know, inside window trim that I need to get rid of. So before we go any further, let's make sure that we get rid of all those extra little pieces that are there. That one needs to go. And this one here, this triangle in this section here. You know, as I mentioned before, we were gonna run into some, uh, you know, some tricks, some things that are gonna cause problems. And this is one of those. Uh, this area here is, is problematic because we're changing directions. We've got this geometry on the inside. We've got some creased edges. We've got a creased edge here. And uh, that is, is not helping us get this transition. So before I go too much further, let's go to modify and uncrease. And I just wanna uncrease these edges and see what happens. So as I uncrease those edges, um, you can see that it doesn't look great, but this edge right here, that crease uh, is definitely causing us problems. This one does not really look creased. So let's see if we can crease it. Uh, it is creased, but um, it's just, uh, it just looks different. It looks like it's got a smooth transition. All right, so now that we have sort of unhooked this from the rest, Let's go ahead and make some adjustments to the shape. I'm gonna pull this vertex out a little bit and potentially pull this one down. And then let's take a look at it one more time. So that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that, the transition in the back. Now we just need to connect it to here. So in order to do this, I'm gonna to go to modify from the side, I'm gonna hold down Alt on a PC to extrude this. I'm gonna scale it because I want to start tapering it down. And then I'm gonna extrude it one more time. I'm gonna rotate it slightly, scale it down, and then left click to deselect it. So you can see from this side, it is quite a bit wider. So we need to make sure that it's about the right size. This one can go up a little bit. All right, so now we've got our smooth transition. Let's go ahead and weld some vertices together and see if we can save this thing. I'm gonna bring that together, bring that together, and bring this together. All right, so that looks pretty good. Control or Command-4, we still have this, this crease that's happening here, and that's driving me crazy. So let's reevaluate. At this point, if we look at this thing, it looks pretty good. Uh, the transition's good, it's nice and smooth, but this crease uh, is causing us problems. So let's try our repair body and let's see if reevaluating that T-point will allow us to get anything that's a better solution. It still looks like it's somewhat creased. In box display, this edge is quite a bit further out than this one. It's hard to see, but if we go to a top view, um, that transition looks okay, but I can almost guarantee that they are just at a different plane. So let's make sure that we bring those better in line. Bring it inward, potentially bring this one outward a bit, and then view it in smooth display. All right, so now that looks a bit better, we still have that sort of weird crease, which is telling me that I either need to add more information to where the window is, or I need to um, make some drastic changes to the patch. From here, we've got a crease um, at the bottom, right? So we've creased where the windscreen is. And 
I want to see if I can turn that into a beveled edge for a smoother transition. So let's bevel that edge. I'm going to add uh, two edges to it. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to hide my edges. You can see that the symmetry has been removed. And if we go to Modify and Uncrease, double click on this and double click on this. And now you can see that we've got a little bit more of a smoother transition. If we take a look at the edges, we likely need to just pull these edges in a bit. So we'll use Modify Edit Form, zoom in and pull them in just slightly. Take a look at it in Smooth Display. All right, so that looks OK. We were able to get rid of that crease, but it's obviously it's doing some funky stuff here. The next thing that I want to try is to just fill this in. So I'm going to go to Modify, Fill Hole, and just fill the entire window in. I'm going to maintain a creased edge for now. I'm going to try to do a Fill Star, try to do a Collapse. And we can see that the result is, is not great. We've got a lot of edges that are happening down here. And for it to, to really fill these things in, uh, it's just it's just not working. So we're going to abandon that option and, and leave it open. But we are going to try one more time to extrude this. So I'm going to uh, hold down Alt. I'm not going to do it with a crease. I'm going to pull it inward. And before I let it go, I'm going to pull it in kind of far for now, but I'm going to set this to minus five millimeters. Before I deselect or do anything else, I'm going to scale that down just slightly. And then we're going to extrude it one more time. So once again, we're going to use Alt and just pull that one straight back. Uh, that one is going to be minus 20. We'll be fine. We'll say OK. Um, and, and now what we've done is we've got a bunch of extra edges down here that we can likely get rid of. If we zoom in, it's kind of hard to see in Smooth Display. If we go into Box Display, you can see what, what kind of happened in this corner. Things are overlapping. And uh, some of this geometry, like this edge right here, is way further back than it needs to be. And that kind of happened with a lot of edges. So if we try to zoom into this a little bit, um, this is something that, that tends to happen when we've got multiple edges, like those bevels. Uh, you can see this edge here. We try to move it a little bit. That one's connected. But then there are some other edges that are kind of hiding in here. and. This is obviously problematic. There's a lot of, of stuff going on in this corner that we don't want. And some of it is attached and some of it is, is sort of, you know, kind of free floating. And the way for us to sort of try to fix this is to, is to delete some edges. So I'm going to take that edge. I'm going to delete it completely. And um, you can see that that it brought it back a little bit. We still have sort of a weird crease here that we, we have to deal with, but... Uh, that helped it out just getting rid of one edge. So now we have a bit of a smoother transition where the window is. Not ideal, um, but again, these kinds of things, th these are really where the, the challenges happen when trying to use these form tools. If we were to uh, have combined the upper portion of the body using surfacing tools rather than the form tools, we wouldn't run into these kinds of problems because we can do an extrude. Uh, and you can see now it's it's pushed some issues down into the surfaces of like the fender here. So we've got an issue um, here in this fender that we need to address or deal with. I'm going to try to use repair body. And you can see that there's some, some star points there we don't really care about. That point right there, we're going to allow it to recalculate. That looks okay. Um, and then everything else looks fine. So, you know, this is, again, this is the frustrating part of using these tools is we don't really have the level of control for uh, you know, edge weighting. We really only have crease or inserting a bunch of edges. So when we try to do things that are very easy with 2D sketches and extruded surfaces like this, that is, is so much more difficult with form tools and much easier with surfacing tools. Before we go too much further, let's go ahead and save. We don't want to lose anything else. And then I'm going to double click this edge and I'm going to uncrease it. I want to see what happens when I uncrease that. So if we use Control 4, 
you can see that we've got a nice um, smooth transition. It stayed pretty tight on the front like it does on the actual car and it fades in to the rest of it. Uh, the fender transitions look pretty good. This is probably not realistic. I, I don't really know because obviously I don't have one of these cars, um, but those edges could potentially be pushed uh, inward a bit more. So if, if we want to change the curvature, we can, let's go ahead and do this from a top view. We can pull this, uh, this edge in, this vertex in a bit, view it from the front, go into smooth display. Um, you know, so now you can see that we were able to get rid of that crease and the rest of the geometry stayed pretty nice. That surface is still unfortunately causing us a problem. So that's something that needs to be fixed, but uh, the rest of the surfaces worked out okay. So now I'm going to try that utilities repair body again. That star point is the one that's the problem. Uh, there's just other stuff that's, that's competing with it for uh, the tension in those surfaces. So when we look at these kinds of things and these kinds of problems, in order to fix them, we need to address the underlying problem, which in this case is, uh, is likely tension from this guy right here. So I'm gonna pull that up and I'm gonna pull it forward. Again, I'm trying to make essentially a straight line there and do the same thing on the back. It's gonna go up and forward a bit. I'm gonna rotate this around. Again, trying to make a straight line. It's not strictly required. And then this, I'm going to pull up a little bit and try to make that transition a bit more gradual. So you can see here, we've smoothed it out a little bit. If we rotate this around, um, we still got that sort of surface, uh, surface problem. And that's likely it's coming from here, which is telling me that I need an extra level of control on that edge. And likely if I double click this edge that went all the way around the front, and double click there and double click here. You can see symmetry is, uh, is now gone again, unfortunately. If I double click that and I bevel it, now keep in mind that we're, we're using bevel even though we don't have a creased edge. I'm gonna just insert one. Now we've added that extra level of control. You can see that it caused problems on the back and that's because that beveled edge, that new edge doesn't have a crease on it here which means that we need to go back and crease it. And these are all things that unfortunately, um, they're gonna come up. And you know, anytime you add those in, you can see that we've now got a little bit of a wrinkle back here. It's something that is caused by these T-points. These are all the little things that once you get to the end of a design like this will need to be uh, fixed and addressed. So um, at this point, I think the car is pretty good. There's obviously, a lot more that we could do. Uh, I don't know that it's really worth it to continue to go down and make those modifications and changes. Uh, but at this point, the vast majority of the body is done. We've, we've captured the essence of the shape. We have to fix a few issues, but we've captured the overall shape of the car. The main areas that we've had problems are really in connecting the upper portion of the car to the lower portion, because we've got those transitions that Fusion Forms doesn't really handle very well. The ones that are essentially tight, but not actually creased. So in order to get that, uh, that, you know, that level of detail, we really need to spend a lot more time. Also, you'll notice they're pulling things around. The, the wheel wells are slightly out of round, so those need to be fixed. And, and if you remember, we do that by making sure that we've got a consistency between you know, all the different sections. We want to keep them equidistant and consistent. And, uh, what we ended up doing was adding a lot of stuff down here and that stuff is what's affecting it. And same thing on the back. Uh, so those are all things that you can play around with and try to fix, but uh, this is a really good result. I'm happy with the way that it's turned out so far. I could probably spend hours you know, continuing to tweak it, but I, I don't wanna waste time. We've spent the majority of the time to this point modeling it, which has been several hours if you followed along. So at this stage, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you do wanna to continue to see more on the car, then let me know that as well. I think there's diminishing returns at some point. So, um, but again, as always, thanks for watching. And if I continue making any changes, we'll see you in the next one. Otherwise, see you in the next series.